G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a spin bloom with boom. I guess it's a boom bloom. <laughs> oh, that's a bit funny, isn't it? A boom bloom. Alrighty. I'm going to do pinks and purples with a little splash of teal in there. I've just got my little um, spirit level on there, making sure that everything is right. This is a 20 centimeter or 8 inch tile, and I've just put it on my little cake spinner. Just a little round plastic pink cake spinner under there. Uh, so I'm going to use my usual pillow paint, which is the British Paints Interior Low Sheen. I'm going to use my usual three to one cell activator, which is three parts Floetrol, one part white titanium, um, Amsterdam titanium white, I should say. So those two are going to be the, the same things. Um, and then I'm going to change up my paints instead of using the Joe Sonia's with, you know, the pouring medium that I make up for my blooms. I'm just going to use the Boom Gel Stain and see how it goes. It's easier, I guess, if you can't find all the products or you don't want to spend all the money making up all the, you know, buying all the products to make up the pouring medium. We'll just see how this goes anyway. We'll pour a puddle on, as we usually do. Now, I, I find I don't need to have my big um, doggy pool thingy if I'm only doing like a little tile because it's low to the... The table and it just sprays out to about here it doesn't spray up you know high so yeah I'm happy to do it just on the, the tile Oops, I shouldn't move that because now I don't know if I'm level again <laughs> all right so I'm gonna start with I've gone pearlescent pink violet pearlescent teal Lily Pilly Pink and Pearlescent Mauve. Um, do I want the purple on top? Mm, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Righto, so these are all pre mixed, so you just have to basically open the lid and pour some out. It's probably about, you know, very similar to the consistency of what I would use for my pouring medium when I'm doing uh, blooms anyway, very similar. Are you still level? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go with some teal. Now just remember your puddle in the middle has to be a third of the size of your surface. So if you need to have a third there, a third there, and a third there. So obviously it's still a bit small now, so we'll keep adding paint. I'm going to put some of that around the outside. Oh, and then some of this mauve. I'd like some more of the dark purple. And then a little bit of the... The lighter pink on top, so you can just put it wherever you want. There's no no right or wrong here. Why are you moving off? Make sure it's in the middle. I'm using my blower. This is my hair cur curler blower thingy that I've taken the attachment off. I've explained it and told you all about it in lots of videos previously, so I'm not going to go over it again. And I need about a 10 cent piece size like a 10 cent coin if you're in Australia it's about that size of the white and then I'll blow the white across the other colors so you don't want too much when I use my own pouring medium the edges start to sort of go sort of fluffy um, it's not happening with this so it may not react but if you pour it on and you get that sort of fluffy edge then you know it's going to react <laughs> into the white it is reacting so that's good so there we go well that's reacted really well hasn't it and make sure you get your white as far across as you can 
because if you only get your white sort of spreading that far across you're going to have a lot of trouble getting to your edges wow i love that section there wow that's the um the teal with the dark turquoise and not the turquoise the violet together that's really pretty i did a little sample with the boom uh, last week and I only had blue and green so you know it wasn't wasn't the best but it reacted and I said to Cass please send me some more colors so I can have another play with them this is just amazing right now don't wait until your middles middle cells are too big okay because they'll go too big once you've spun and you'll have these big blobs in the center which aren't attractive so I think it's best just to Get straight on to spinning and see how it only covers about that much of your petal pad like it's not coming up and hitting me which is good so you don't have to go to the trouble and the expense you know of buying a puppy pool that's really nice I'd like to get rid of the edges a little bit more but I really don't want to destroy that because it's gorgeous I guess I could have blown my white a little bit further out, but I'm going to leave it like that. I actually don't mind that bit of turquoise there. Now for me to get right up to get rid of that corner, I would have to take off that much of everywhere. And it's just not worth it when you've got such a beautiful painting. Wow. Love those colors. So pretty. Right, I'm going to get you down for a close-up. What are you spinning for? You just wait there. Now, do you remember how much white I had in the centre? And uh, the white does dissipate. That's really pretty. I'm going to try with some different colours as well. Now that I've got quite a, a decent range of boom. I arrived in the post yesterday. I was very excited. You know when you're in isolation there's not much to do well there's a bit for me to do because I can paint but it was nice having the other colors arrive and I could experiment now I'm still trying my phone on um, autofocus but I think I just have to go a little bit slower so it can keep up Look at the lacing. It's really pretty, isn't it? Come on, focus. I'm just telling the people how well you're doing and then you go and disobey. So there you go. Um, just another option for you, you know, if you don't want to go to the trouble of making your own pouring medium, <clears throat> you just need to find the pillow paint whatever country you're in there's lots of YouTube videos from people all over the world telling you what you can use so you know, and there's there's lots of pouring paints I did a video on the Arteza um, pre-mixed pouring paints last week as well and they also work really well <clears throat> I haven't tried any others I'm sure there's more out there I haven't tried the Montmartre yet I don't have any Montmartre pouring paints so um yeah just have a little play so yeah whatever country you're in get your pillow paint um get your flow troll that should be pretty easy to get you, even if you're overseas you can get um, australian flow troll on ebay now and even the american flow troll you just have to add a little bit of uh, wood conditioner to it and it'll react the same lots of people are doing it so just you know look into it and then use your pre-mixed paints and um away you go a lot of fun so yeah just have fun with it play all right I will leave it at that and I'm gonna grab some more colors and see if I can do another one I've still got quite a few tiles left so I can do lots of pours hey it'd be nice I guess if I had a little bit more turquoise in the middle because it's all pink and purple but we've got the turquoise on the outside there looks like a butterfly wing doesn't it <laughs> so pretty and it's shiny too. I don't think I can pick up the shine, but it is shiny. 
All right, I'll leave it at that. I'm going to get cleaned up and, and do another one. Lots of pouring for me today. All right, see you real soon. <clears throat> Stay safe. Bye for now.